Oh, we love him. We love him good. Hi everyone, welcome back and happy new year to you all. It's officially 2019. Where did 2018 go? Crazy. But today's video was probably the one I've been excited for for so long. It is my, it's my, <laughs> best of skincare for 2018. So the product that I'm going to talk about today, which is a lot, I've counted, there's about 40 products. But it's not what's been new this year, it's just products I've reached for throughout the year. So some of these products have been around for years, but it's just what I've loved this year. So I've got them all here. I've also got me notes too to make sure I don't miss anything else. I haven't got the prices, but I will put all of the, the prices in the description box as well. So you'll be able to get all the information there. So, and I've also got them all in specific order. So, I'm going to go from like cleansers, tone, hydrate treatment, masks, mist, SPF, things. You know the drill. So, without further, further ado, let's get started. I hope you're all sitting comfortable because this is going to be a long one. So, I do apologise in advance, but I want to make sure I give you everything of products I've loved. So, let's go. Okay, so for, we've got, as I say, we're going to start off with cleansers. Oh, and also, I've just, <laughs> should have mentioned, I got, don't ask why, I just had a little bit of an impulsive moment. So I got me ear pierced, like, up here, and I've just knocked it then. As I've just put it behind my ear, I'll show you it. Like, it's not healed or anything like that. I literally got it done yesterday, New Year's Eve. I thought, you know what, let's go into the New Year. Let's, let's do something a little bit different and don't ask why. I didn't go out New Year, I just stayed in and watched Bird Box, actually, because everyone was like, oh my God, I need to watch it. So I decided to get it done because, let me just show you the inspo really, okay, so this is what I want the inspo like for me ear. A lot of people are like, oh no Steph, that's not really you, but you know what I thought, you know, I want to be, I want to do something a little bit different. So I've already got two pierced, but I did have further up pierced as well, um, but yesterday I thought I took it to the next level. <laughs> So this is like, this is the look I'm sort of going for, like Kylie Jenner style maybe, but let's see if I can find it. Okay, so something like this was on Pinterest yesterday. So something like that, like I just think it's dead cute, it's a little bit different. So, oh, I like, like Jamie Genevieve style, I like Jaclyn Hill style, I like loads really, so but I'll quickly show you. It is so so, and it's, I've also got the standard bar in, so I won't be keeping this bar, but it is so so. You don't even see it. <laughs> Me ear was literally like pulsing. Like I got it done yesterday. It didn't actually hurt. It was just a little bit uncomfortable. I'm quite good with pain. I think like my pain threshold, I'd say it was fairly good. And so it didn't, it was just a little bit uncomfortable. It didn't hurt. But then when I left, well, I was in the like the tattoo shop and I was like, my ears pulsing like it really is. And they were like, it's completely normal. So when I left, my ear was literally red raw and then it was like for the majority of the night it's calmed down now but it's still really tender and that's the side I usually sleep on. So I've had to sleep on this side last night so anyway but that's the little journey I'm going on. So I want to make, make it pretty. Some of my friends were like, Steph, that's just not you. But I thought, you know, at the end of the day if I don't like it, I can take it out. So not a problem. Anyway, back to skincare. Back to skincare. Okay, so let me just quickly put it behind me here. <laughs> So let's start with cleansers. So I've got one, two, three, four, five cleansers. So because this is probably going to be quite a long video, I'm not going to go into too much detail. I'm just going to go through like what I love and like why I love it. So let's start off with like removing makeup. So this was fantastic. This is only two pound from Primark. It's called the Deep Cleanse Off Oil, and I cannot get it anywhere else. I've been back into Primark, and they, I don't think they do it anymore. And I'm gutted because it's just a super fast, easy way to take your makeup off. And for two pounds, it's cheaper than most face wipes as well. So it's just so ideal just to remove that first layer of makeup, and then you can go in with another cleanse. But it's two pounds, and it's like an oil. It's, all, it's called Deep Cleanse Off Oil, and it's just really good as well. So I like to use that just to take makeup off, to get it off, and then go in with like another cleanser. But for two pounds like you really can't go wrong and then we have the body shop chamomile lotion sorry chamomile cleansing butter this i absolutely love completely empty oh no there's a tiny little bit left actually i'll use that to later take this off but yeah this is 10 pounds i think it is really good as well similar consistency to like clinic take the day off as well so i do really love that i started using this more towards the end of the year because when i was invited to the body shop they gave me one of these so 
it was more towards the end of the year but still I so affordable great for all skin types too uh, this was from Bioderma. This is completely loved. I've lost the lid on it. Now, this is a micellar water, and usually I wouldn't use a micellar water to take makeup off, but it's brilliant for taking off eye makeup. So, before I cleanse any of my makeup off, I will always go in with like something like this on a cotton pad and just take off my eye makeup. I have got eyelashes on today, the semi permanent lashes, so I'd have to just be careful and just go around my eye. But this is really good and it literally lifts everything off everything off they did actually send me this and i'm literally on the last of it now but there's no lid i love it that much but it's just really good for just removing eye makeup and taking your lips off i find when you're cleansing if you don't take your eye makeup off you'll end up all black down your face when you're cleansing your makeup off so this is really good just to get it off and then go in with like something like this or something like that just to start cleansing it off so i love this um, this was another favourite, this absolutely was, this is from La Cura. you can see there's practically nothing left in it. This is their Hot Clock Cleanser, which is like the dupe for the Liz Ale one, I think it's about a fiver. Great for all skin types too, and it's just a nice cleansing cream, and it really is. It's so gentle, it's like perfect, I'd say, for like a sensitive skin type too. So I do really love that, as I say, it's about £5. Now for the start of the show, I started using this last christmas because i got it for christmas but i didn't think it'd be fair to because i knew straight away i was obsessed with it but i didn't think it'd be fair to include it in 2017 so i said i would include it this year so i'm sure you all know by now who it is and i've actually run out completely so it's elemis pro collagen cleansing balm it's completely empty i've gone through about three of these i absolutely love this you will have seen this all over my instagram like it really is such an amazing cleanser obsessed with it it's about 43 pounds which is a little bit more luxurious but it's great it lasts so long and you can also use it as a mini mask as well so of a morning or of a night once you've double cleansed you can leave it on let it soak in for like five ten minutes or so and it does act as a little mini mask so we do really love this and I literally took this everywhere with me. I went down to Ascot with my friends in the winter, in the summer. I put, bought the little travel one, took that with me. I took it on holiday with me. Like it really, oh, this is probably my favourite cleanser of 2018. If not one of my favourite cleansers at all time. So, Elements Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. Amazing. Now, coming on to Acid Tone. So, again, no surprise. Pixie Glow Tonic. Absolutely obsessed with it. I think this is about £18. I've been loving it for about two years now. Absolutely love it. I use it day and night. And I'm sure you'll have all know by now as well. Aldi's La Cura, which, again, another favourite. These are like the dupe for each other. I personally do genuinely believe that these are great dupes. And I believe that... They are very, very similar. Like, that's just my personal opinion. I've used both. Absolutely love both. Um, this is more affordable. This is, like, four or five pounds. This is 18 pounds. Again, this is still really affordable. If you're someone who is on a budget, go for this one. If you if you can afford this, stick with this. There's no winner, as I said, but these two I absolutely love. I genuinely do feel like they really are such similar pro products. Like, I even put them on my face when I close my eyes just to make sure, like the smell and everything but it really was so these were definitely favorites of 2018 and then for night time during the evening you know i all love liquid gold which is alpha h again another fantastic product like it's got you'll notice all three products do have glycolic acid in so glycolic acid is amazing for like exfoliating away any dead skin cells and just giving your skin an overall nice radiant glow i absolutely love glycolic glycolic and hyaluronic acids are like my favorite acids but yeah this does contain glycolic and it does i think it says to use every other evening uh, there has been times when i've used it twice on the run and it hasn't been a problem but just always be sure in case you're like sensitive but this is gorgeous now hydrators so i've only got two because I was only obsessed with two this year. So I'm sure you all know Marine Hyaluronics. Easily the most used product I've got, I think, apart from a cleanser. But I absolutely love this. And for like five or six pounds, this is amazing. It's literally like water. I honestly do love it. 
I've recommended it to so many people. A lot of people come up to me and work and like, oh my god, I've used Marine Hyaluronics and it's like life changing. So yeah, it's literally just a hydrator. So you would use this after you've cleansed and toned, put this on, let it soak in, and then you can go in with all your other good stuff. So like any treatments or anything like that. But this is really good, especially if you're a dehydrated skin type like me or dry. This is really good. I love it. I stocked up like three bottles of it. They had a, like a Black Friday sale on. It must have been around November time. It was like a limit three per customer and I think I'm up to like my last... Never can't. I think I've got two more left but oh, I literally love it and it's so, so affordable as well. So this is definitely a favourite. And now this blew my socks off literally. So this is Sarah Chapman's Intense Hydrating Booster. It looks like this. This is the mini version. I picked it up when um, I think it was in London and it's just so cute so this is the skinnesis range it is the mini version it's like the travel version but i wanted to try the smaller version first just in case i didn't like it for whatever reason and it is gorgeous i'll quickly show you what it's like i think i'm on the last of it so if you can pick it up it's just like, oh, honestly like it is i can't recommend that product enough it really is so gorgeous like it just sits on your skin so lovely, but it's so smooth and soft. It, oh, it's amazing. I really do love this. And even the whole like Sarah Chapman range, like the Skin Assist range, is fabulous. I mean, if it's good enough for Victoria Beckham, then and she has got great skin, Victoria Beckham, and I know that is her facialist, Sarah Chapman. But yeah, this is amazing. These are about twelve pounds, I think, the minis. But the the bigger versions maybe like forty, forty five. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't. I'm yet to purchase the bigger version. I love the packaging as well. I love everything about this brand. But yeah, obsessed. What's next? Ow, 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 ow. Okay, so moving on to oils. I've only got three. I've got two daytimes and a nighttime. So we'll start with the daytime and probably my most used oil of 2018. And probably the one that I did get the most compliments for as well. So it is Elemus Pro Definition Facial Oil. It is absolutely gorgeous. Like, when I tell you I got the most com compliments from wearing this, people would be like, your skin looks like glass, and it was this. Like, it really is. The only thing is, it is a little bit more expensive. It's about £65, but it's gorgeous. It looks like this. It's just a really gorgeous, glowing um, facial oil. So this was definitely a favourite like I still am obsessed with and you'll notice there's still quite a bit left in it because it is quite dear I try and save it for special occasions and I just think you know what at the end of the day every day you should be your skin should be looking lovely so I've started to use it more but absolutely gorgeous so I forgot there's another two more products so we've got five products and they're all them a day except for one so I'll go through all the day ones so the next up we've got the glow oil from the skin prep which is absolutely gorgeous. This is my friend's oil. Oh, she gave me this in, I think, like, February. And I was like, literally, look, I've got nothing left. I keep saying to her, do me another one. And she's like, I will, I will, I will. And we just haven't got around to it. But this, it smells... Oh, she needs to give me a new one. <laughs> like, I literally love this. I honestly do. And it's so affordable. I think it's less than £15. It is so gorgeous. So... That was definitely a favourite. Um, then this was definitely a favourite at the beginning of the year. I haven't used this as much, but like the first six months of the year, I was hooked on it. Like these, so I used to like alternate each one on which one I'd use. And then, or this. But yeah, this is Emma Hardy's Brilliant Facial Oil. This again is, I'd say, I think it's about, it was £31, but the prices have gone up. I think it's about £39, which I still do think reasonable. Like, you do get a lot of product. You don't need to use, like, two or three drops, so it would last you. But another gorgeous facial oil as well. And then this one, I, this was because Jamie Genevieve was using it. I've seen her. She was using this for a while, and she has got great skin. So I'd try it. I tried many samples of it, and I thought, yeah, I do want it. So it's Kiehl's Daily Revive and Concentrate. Another fab product. It reminds me a little bit of Glow Oil. I'll just show you. Also, I love how you get the pipette and you can control how much you want to use. Oh, it smells so lovely. I know a lot of people aren't big fans of like skincare products that smell, but I'm going to be completely honest. Like, 
I do. I love a product that smells amazing and it just, I love the whole experience of like buying the product, putting it on, smelling amazing, feeling good. Like I do love smells, I do. And I know it's not necessary in products, but I just love the whole experience. But these smell amazing. Gorgeous. I think this is about £40 or £35, I'm not sure. But as I say, I will leave everything in the description box. So now coming on to night oils. This was the only night oil that I really loved. I've got the other one too, but this was what really stole the show. And it's Estee Lauder's Advanced Night Repair Range and it's the Recovery Masking Oil. I've had this for over a year. Like it's probably, is it even like still good? Yeah, no, it's still completely fine. Oh, it is like silk on your skin. It's so gorgeous. I put a picture up wearing this the other night. It's like a selfie of my skin and so many people were like messaging me saying like what have you done to your skin what is it and i, I was i put it all in the comments what i'd use but it, it was mainly this it is fabulous and you go to sleep you sleep in it and it just feels so nice on your skin so this was definitely a favorite masks okay so it was, def it was definitely the year for face masks and you probably all know which in particular brands but when it comes to face masks and you know I do each Sunday I do like a new face mask I do Sunday evening face mask but I'm just obsessed with face masks and I always have been I think I always will be so it was hard to narrow it down but I'm sure you all know Garnier's so we've got the original moisture bomb which I absolutely love I love this and the pink one then they shook us all and brought out these two which again I was like oh my god it was if things couldn't get better so when you use this, you get one go out of it, that's it. But with these, you do only get one go. But where you have all the serum here, you can still use that like a couple of days later or save it. There's been times when I've used this and then a few days later, I've kept the oil and like put it on before my makeup and it's gone on gorgeous. So that's the great thing about these. Like you don't have to bin them. You get so much worth of serum. But so you've got the uh, the blue one which is replump and glow, is it? A uh, replump and shot. And then you've got vitamin C shot which is the yellow. So this is one's for brightening and this one's for hydration. So both amazing products. I, I tend to use this more just because I'm more dehydrated but this is still gorgeous under makeup. So these were by far my favourite masks of 2018. But I've still, I've still got these. I've still got boxes full of these. But yeah. And then I don't know if you'll remember in the summer they brought out, maybe it was a little bit before the summer, they brought out the Amber Solid, the After Sun Tissue Mask. Now again, another gorgeous mask. The only thing is I've never actually tried it on holiday. Now, because they came out after I'd been on holiday, so I was a little bit mm, gutted. But anyway, I had to imagine these to be lovely. I've used them on their own, it's still fabulous. But the idea behind it is it helps to like make your tan more luminous and it helps to keep your skin hydrated on holiday on holiday you know your skin can dry out with all the spf and everything like that so this just adds the hydration back into your skin so it says intensely rehydrating rehydrating revitalizers instant immediately soothes tan looks more luminous in 15 minutes so i can't speak on behalf of the tan but i do think it'll be just a gorgeous mask on holiday so definitely a favorite then we've got the little mini Neutrogenas, which was so, so cute. Like, aren't they just amazing just to travel with? These would be great if you're going to, like, Glastonbury or if you're going to, like, a festival and you want to stay over. Take something like this with you. They can be used more than once. Just make sure you put the lid back down because there's been many times when I've left it open and it dries out. If you put the lid back down, you can get so many goes out of these. But these are literally brilliant for on the go. Hand luggage, like, 10 mil as well. So it's great for hand luggage love them i think they're about three pounds also then coming on still on masks believe it or not this is from bioderma they sent me this at the beginning of the year and i fell in love with it straight away i used to wear it of a night so what i noticed with this mask the most is the most is it is so hydrating to the point where i would put this on of a night so i tend to do my skin as soon as i get in from work but then if i see like my skin is drying out a little bit or if the product's being absorbed i will have more on so i'd put this on and the next morning i would wake up and my skin would still have mask on it like it'd still be hydrated and i was literally blown away i was like how can I still because the majority of the time I'll wake up and the products will have absorbed and soaked in and done all the magic overnight but this was like still on my skin in a good way though like it was just my skin felt like bouncy if that makes any sense it was like plumped it was 
gorgeous and it's so affordable as well these as i say they did send me it but they sent me quite a, a few other products as well but this just took out for me like i'd wake up in the morning and i'd have a natural glow i was like do you know what i'm gonna use this tonight actually because i forgot how much i love it and it's so gorgeous as well it's suitable for all skin types but it's mainly for like hydration purposes um gorgeous though and what's the smell i'm just use it for a while it's like the standard smell for bioderma they don't have strong smelling products but it's gorgeous and i think it might be about 15 pounds in boots i'm not entirely sure but i will link it below and then this is probably one of the newest masks like actual masks so i got this for my birthday off my friend perry and it is the vichy's it's the mask mineral desolerance i think it's called the thermal mask but i will link it below like in the english so it looks like this and it's it's next level it's like jelly but a mask it's so gorgeous and if if i'm like ever feeling a little bit hot during the evening i will just put this on it just cools and soothes down the skin so much i'm just a sucker for smells i absolutely love smells like this smells unreal like so clean and so fresh and just everything what you want your skin to smell like it, this is amazing so as i say it is a jelly so i'll show you so you can see it's literally like water oh, even on the back of my hands that feels so gorgeous so you can imagine do you know what this was perfect for during the winter when your skin's like you've come home from work it's really cold outside this was great i was like literally like smothering it on my face it was gorgeous and it's definitely i from the first go i used it i was like this needs to be in the best of beauty the best of skincare so love it i think i don't think it's super super expensive either i think it might be 15 pounds or 20 pounds around that price range anyway but absolutely gorgeous like amazing let's do treatments next so probably again um, i've actually got none left probably like the most favorite product i've used as well is the peeling solution from the ordinary and it's the one product that i've recommended again to so many people everyone's like oh my god because i do midweek mask so i'll do like midweek mask with like the peeling solution and like this type of mask or this type of mask or any this type of mask so i always do the peeling solution twice a week sundays and wednesdays wednesdays midweek mask but again an amazing product i've noticed as well over the christmas I'd, i wasn't using it as much just because i was so busy and i used it i think it was like christmas eve maybe no it wasn't christmas eve it might have been a few days before and it really like tingled and you had to tell like it was really attacking my skin in a good way obviously but that's what i like i love it when you haven't used the product for a while you use it and you can really feel the tingle because it got to the point where I, my skin was used to it i wouldn't really feel the tingle and i stopped using it for like a, a couple of weeks I used it and i could really feel it working into my skin so love this i will always love this i think it's like six or seven pounds it's a great exfoliator just be careful if you're all sensitive skin because it is an aha and a bha acidic exfoliator so always be careful with it a lot of people do tend to look at it like oh it's a little bit intimidating it is because of the color but once you put it on it's completely fine i tend to leave it on for like five or ten minutes i know a lot of people tend to take it down their neck i remember seeing nadine baggett she said she takes it right down to like a chest more than you'd be more than fine to do that i don't i just tend to take it like around my neck all over my face avoid the eye area leave it on for 10 to 20 not even 20 minutes like 10 to 15 minutes wash it off and then you can go with like a nice cool and calm and mask but yeah this is definitely not for the faint hearted i wouldn't recommend to use it all the time but every now and again it is gorgeous I, I say as i say i like to use it like twice a week but it is lovely i've literally got none left i must this must be like my fifth bottle of this yeah literally nothing left but another amazing product then another treatment um let's let's do blemishes so dry and lotion from mario badesco amazing product i actually used this last night i've got a bit of a blemish here used it last night and it just really takes it down it literally dries the spot out it's got salicylic acid in it all you do is get the cotton a cotton bud and just dip it into here which is the pink section and then put dab the pink section onto your blemish and honestly that's one product i would highly recommend i've been using this for a while like it's not just from 2018 but for treatment wise this is brilliant for 
getting rid of like blemishes and things like that i seen kylie jenny use it about two three years ago when i tried it and it on it honestly is really good and it's not even that expensive i think it's about like 15 pound maybe but this literally lasts you so long i bought i bought this before i used to live in dubai a few years ago and i bought it before i went to dubai and it's a glass bottle they've now brought out plastic bottles but this was is a glass bottle and i remember i was doing my skin in the night i was like in the bathroom made up like doing all my skin and i had the drying lotion i was on a turn round and knocked it and it just completely shattered because it was glass and the tiles were glass and i was like oh my god because you couldn't get it in dubai you could only get it off cold beauty really and by the time you got it shipped to dubai and it wasn't guaranteed it just wasn't worth it so i went without it for so long as soon as i got back to the uk i was like i need dry and lotion so yeah it is such a gorgeous product but i've literally been using this for years but it is amazing for getting rid of spots a lot of people ask me what can i use to like get rid of like the home the odd hormonal spot or whatever go for this it's brilliant now this is a new product i've used and loved another treatment this is alpha h's retinol it is the beauty sleep power peel so it does contain it's a 0.5 percent retinol what it is it's another push down applicator so you push down yeah push down and then put it all over your skin now i used it once just put it on didn't think nothing of it and then for some reason don't ask why i didn't properly read like the technique behind it so when you do put it on your skin massage in like an upwards motion up your neck round your eyes like in an upwards motion and i tell you not i swear to god you will feel the tingle i was just putting it on like normal and then it was only when i was like having a little reason i was like maybe i should try it and i did so when you're putting it on upwards and outwards and you, you are really getting it in and penetrating it into the skin so love this i got this on black friday i think i paid about 37 pounds for it on cult so really good investment actually i like to use it twice a week or every now and again not all the time because it is a retinol and then you would follow the next day with like an spf of your choice next up is moisturizers now you'll probably know from my instagram i don't really use a lot of moisturizer i'm more i like to more like layer products like oils serums hydrates things like that but there's been one moisturizer that has just stuck out completely and i am literally obsessed with it it's just like the right consistency for me i don't like thick moisturizers this really is just nice and lightweight and it's a gel based moisturiser so straight away you, it is a higher water content so it is going to be a lot more hydrating. It's so soothing as well and it's Clinique's Moisture Surge. It really is such, it's like my go-to moisturiser. If I need, if I've got a problem with my skin, this. It used to be Glam Glow's Thirsty Mud, that is a lovely mask as well. But lately, well this year I've just literally been obsessed with it. I got it for my birthday as well again. It looks like this, it's the pink jelly. It's absolutely so dirty as well, but it, it really is. It, it's so common, it's great for all skin types as well. It's just such a fab moisturiser. I'm just giving it a little clean because I didn't realise how dirty it was. Yeah, it looks like that. I think these are about £30 I'd say. But they are gorgeous and like it just instantly hydrates your skin. Let's go on to eye creams. So another favourite. Well, these two like stood out for me for the year. This I actually got last year. Let's talk about day tabs. Okay, so this is Isolix 2 from Indeed Labs. I got this last year for Christmas and I just I don't know. I don't I don't know why I just didn't fall in love with it. And then it's only like the last few months I've started to use it and I was like now I really do love this. It's just so hydrating. The thing with eye creams, you're not going to see a big difference overnight. It is purely for hydration for me anyway. So I love this. I love to use this for daytime. And then for nighttime, it is Estee Lauder's Advanced Night Repair range. And it is in the Eye Recovery Night, night Repair Ice uh, Gel. This is a gel, so it is a lot more cooler and soother on the skin. It just soaks in as well, where this is more of like a cream both fantastic products though i'll use this daytime and this nighttime next up is mist so hydration mist so these two are by far this was easily my favorite and it's vichy's thermal spa water mist it's gorgeous and the best seven pounds i ever spent you don't realize how many times i use this use this on a day-to-day -day basis like 
every day without fail if i'm sat at my desk in work i will miss this on my face it's just so cool and even in the winter i literally use this and do you know what i found i use it the most going to bed at night i like to keep my skin nice and fresh and sometimes i'll use this one this is la roche's Cero sink this is great for more like an oily combination skin type this is great for like all skin types so if you want like a hydrating mist what keeps you cool this also helps to mattify as it is like an oily combo fabs fantastic this is about 10 pounds this was seven but it's so lovely it can be used as a mist a set of mist if you wanted to you can mist it on your face but it's so lovely like there's literally not a left in either i need to be purchased my dog barking but yeah i need chapel so yeah so i need to repair just this because it's gorgeous it is super fine i'll see if there's anything left to show you oh, it's just so lovely to hardly not in but yeah amazing best seven pounds of spence and then as i say this is more your oily combo now this category i didn't i didn't find any it well, it's for exfoliators i didn't find any exfoliators that like blew me away but i classed this with the peeling solution i classed the peeling solution as an exfoliator as well so that's a bit of both but actual exfoliators, the only one I could get this year, what I loved was Alpha H's Super Scrub, which is the glycolic and peppermint. That this again gives you a little bit of a tingle when you're on massaging it into your skin. But yeah, I don't know if you, I used to love exfoliators as well. But if you think about it, I do exfoliate every day because I'll use these types of exfoliators that are kind of physics exfoliator which contains like glycolic. So although I don't use a physical exfoliator that often, I'll probably use it like once a week or something like that my skin still does feel great but yeah this is the actual only exfoliator that i really loved I, that's what i need to do really for 2019 is find a physical exfoliator that i like on my skin i do love glam glows youth mud but it's not something i do reach for all the time i'll just reach for it now and again because it can be a little too abrasive but this was lovely as well i think this is about 31 pounds i got it last year but includes it in this year's so yeah, I do need to definitely look out for in 2019 for new exfoliators. So if you do know any good ones, let me know. I was also going to mention like actual tools what are good for your skin. But I couldn't find any microfiber cloths that were clean. Just like the Primark ones, what I was raving on about. Loved them as well for 2018. Great for taking off makeup. Let's go on to SPF. So two products again. This was from Bioderma. This is another thing they sent me. I love it. It is a tinted SPF, so it's gorgeous. So it, if you in the summer you just want a little bit of a glow, it's got an SPF of fifty in it as well. So it's gorgeous. I used this when I went down to Cornwall in the summer, and my friend was like, "What have you got on your skin?" And it was this. I do like to use like a stippling brush to put it on with, or you could always use your fingers. But yeah, I do love it. I think it's about less than fifteen pounds. I'm sure, but yeah, it is such a nice. Um, tinted SPF but if you want to if you didn't want an SPF they do also do the normal range as well which is the same I think it's an SPF of 30 but it's not tinted and then I was recommended this by someone on Instagram this is La Roche Per Se this is Anthelios I've heard so many people raving about the Anthelios range I've never tried it and then I love the idea of a mist although like a mist probably you would have to apply it more as opposed to a cream i just thought it was a lot more handy in case you didn't know i love mists i love like anything hydration so all you would do with this is just spray it over your face it is a factor 50 as well so i got this i think i paid 10 pounds for it there was a sale on on feel unique so i do really enjoy this i like it because it's easy it's quick you haven't got to spend five minutes rubbing it in and you don't get the white cast either which you can do off some spfs so I do love that. And now I'm going to finally finish on face tans. So I did do a YouTube video based on like face tans that was like in the summer. So I've updated it a tiny bit just at what products what I've reached for throughout the year. So firstly was the Cladden's Boost the, the Radiance Plus Golden Glow Booster. Love this. I used to mix it in with a little bit of glow oil and you will get the most gorgeous, subtle, gradual tan it's fabulous you use about two or three drops but i was at first i was using it with this and obviously this is a lot more thicker this is like water this is a lot more although it's not a thick moisturizer it's a lot more thicker compared to this so i was using like three drops in with this and this was just over shadow with it so it, it was basically not working and then i tried it with something a little bit more lighter and it was gorgeous so 
between three to five drops I tend to use. It just depends what you're mixing it with really. If you're mixing it with something more thicker then you're going to need more drops. If you're mixing it with something which, which is more light then you're not going to use as many. But yeah, love this. And I actually got this for £2. Because this I got this the day I went to the Caroline Highlands Let's So Cleansing event. The ticket was £15 but it was then redeemable on products. And then on the day we had like, it might have been like 15 or 20% off. So I literally got this for £2. And I've not used hardly any. But it is a gorgeous, gradual, subtle tan. Then you will have seen me rave about this throughout the year. My friend who also, she does the skin prep. She introduced me to this. She was like, she done my eyelashes for me. And I was like, I just need something. A little bit of a glow to my skin. She was like, try this. And I loved it how it wasn't clogging on the skin. It contains a hyaluronic acid. It's an overnight elixir for self tan. And it's L'Oreal's. And it's fast drying. And it's face and body for a natural looking tan. I only use that on my face, but it does contain a hyaluronic acid. It says it gives your skin an overnight boost of hydration by gently working on a warm natural tan. So yeah, I absolutely loved this. This blew me socks off. I was like, oh my god, I finally found a tan that works for my face anyway. And then last up is a product that I only got in December, but it was just me in a bottle. I was like, I need to keep hold of this. And I loved it. And it's, I seen it on Jamie Genevieve. I seen it when Jamie Genevieve done her gifts for like her, her Christmas gifts. And it was this. It's Utan's, Utan's Coconut Tanning Water. It's lovely. So it literally is just the water. It smells great too. You put it on your skin. And again, it just gives you the most subtle, yet gorgeous, yet radiant, gorgeous looking tan. And what it says is when you do spray, it's to, to mist downwards. I'm not going to put it on now just because I've already got makeup on. But you could always put it over your makeup. It does actually say on the back. But yeah, I think I got this for like 10 or £11 in Superdrug. And I really do love it. I think it's such a gorgeous mist. They can also be classed as a mist, but it is more of a gradual tan. Love it. But I think, I think that's it. Yeah. We finally got through. I think I had about 40 products. I could have gone on for days. You know, I all love skincare. I could have literally gone on for days, but I need to narrow it down. But I hope you've enjoyed my 2018 favourite skincare. I know I'm a little bit late. I was supposed to do it the other week, and I was just so busy with Christmas and everything. But I hope you've all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope you all have the best 2019, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.